Let's talk about squash. This is a squash. Most people think it's a vegetable. But it's actually a fruit because it has seeds. Ah, oh, game of squash, why must you look so awesome and be so hard to understand? Why? Ah, oh, great, squashed it. Ah, can't use that anymore. Guess I'm gonna have to try this game of squash. Hang on, guys, it's uh, gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't get me wrong, squash is a turbocharged game which takes amazing mental and physical ability. But the rules can be pretty complicated. Nope, still don't get it. Jai, the rules of squash are way too complicated for me to get my head around, so explain to me how they work. OK. Well, you have this box. This little one? Yes. You have to serve in this box. From inside this box? Yes. OK, cool. So you serve. When you serve, you have to have at least one foot in the box. And when you hit it, you have to hit it above this red line. When it comes down, it has to land in this third of the court. So in this big box? The other person will stand in there and they will hit it back. Awesome, man, you're full of knowledge. So how do you get points? So when you get points, the other person can miss the ball. Mm -hmm. And they can, it can be a double bounce. OK, bounce twice, yep. Yes, or it can go below um, this red line just there. So hit it below that? Yes, you below, can't that hit below that red line. No, okay. not at all. And you can't hit it above this red line or can't these hit red above lines. That red line. I don't even need this book anymore. You are good. I bet you could answer anything. So, one thing I've always wondered how do giraffes manage to get blood to their brain with such long necks? Um, well, they have a heart that beats twice as hard as a cow, and they have special blood vessels in their throat that when they bend down to get a drink, um, the, the blood can't run down to their head. Amazing. Thanks to Jai, the rules of squash and the anatomy of a giraffe are becoming easier to understand. Next up, the equipment. Racket and ball. Now, I noticed earlier when you guys were hitting it around, it was bouncing everywhere. And now that I've got it, no bounce. Oh, that's because the ball's not warmed up. OK. And there's two ways you can warm it up. You can either put it down on your foot, put it on your foot and go just and roll it. Just roll it. it around? Roll it, yeah. OK. Yep. So that's like just yes. friction warming it up? Yeah. Cool. And another way, you can just keep on hitting it back and forth to the back and forth to yourself. Just smashing it into the wall. Yeah. So you have to keep it warm during the game as well then? Yeah. All right, Step. cool. Now, the racket, how do I, what's the best way to use this? Uh, the best spot to hit it is to hit it right in the middle. OK. The sweet spot. The sweet spot, all right, yes. cool. And um, you can hit it around the edges, but then you won't have much control over where you hit it. I think the best lesson might be to try again. It's a three-quarter court round robin, giving everyone a chance to master this sport. And I need it. Go, you. And after a few grand slams, I'm starting to get this. There are no real winners in a match like this, and it certainly wasn't me. But if there had to be one today, it's squash. A strategic game definitely worth getting your head around. Oh.